Okay, welcome sa ALS Reviewer Philippines. Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay problem solving in algebra. Ito naman po ay para sa secondary level. Here's the problem. John and Mary own a pizza store. The price for a regular pizza is 350 while a large pizza costs 675 pesos. On Saturday, they sold a total of 37 boxes of pizzas with a total sales of 17,500 pesos. How much is the total sales for each type of pizza? Okay, so here is the problem. Ito po yung uh, pag-uusapan natin at uh, kagaya ng nabanggit ko kanina, ito po ay... Uh, uh, problem sa algebra. Kung algebra ang pinag-uusapan natin, it talks about uh, solving the value of x or any other variable in a given problem. Okay? So, analyze natin ang uh, uh, problem na ito. Uh, tingnan ulit natin. Si John at Mary ay meron silang pizza store at uh, ang mga benta nila, yung regular pizza is 350 tapos naman yung uh, large pizza nila is 675 by the way yung uh, isang box ay naglalaman ng isang round of pizza okay uh, noong sabado sabi niya dito nakapagbinta sila ng 37 boxes of pizzas okay 37 pieces of uh, boxes of pizzas with a total sales of 17,500 pesos. Okay? So, ang tanong ngayon dito, how much is the total sales? Magkano yung kabuo ang uh, natinda o nakabuo ang napagbentahan ng bawat isang uh, klase ng pizza. Okay? Ano yung mga klase yung dito? Yung regular pizza at saka large pizza. Okay, so alam natin ngayon dito yung kabuuan 17,500 pesos yung kabuuan ng sales nila ng regular at saka large pizza pero gusto nilang malaman magkano ba ang napagbentahang regular magkano naman ang nabentang large pizza Okay? Okay, here we go with the quick review uh, Bago natin sagutin yung problem balikan natin yung mga steps kung paano natin i-analyze ang isang mathematics problem. Okay? Kapag ka nag-analyze tayo, sasagutin natin yung mga sumusunod na tanong. What are the given facts that can help solve the problem? So, titignan natin yung problema. Titignan natin yung math problem. And then, hanapin natin kung ano yung mga naibigay na information na makakatulong sa pag-solve ng problem. Alright? Yung pangalawa na gagawin natin, Titingnan natin kung ano ang tinatanong sa problem. Okay? Pangatlo, what number sentence can be used to solve the problem? Okay? So, gagawa na tayo ng number sentence. Kapag ka bago nating may encounter ang isang uh, problem, itong number sentence, i-decide natin kung ano yung gagamitin natin. Uh, gagamit ba tayo ng uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, or mix of these operations or uh, in some other cases, ma-analyze natin, pwede natin gamitan ng algebra o geometry at kung ano-ano pang uh, mathematical uh, operations. Okay? So, in this case, alam na natin na gagamit tayo ng algebra. Okay? So, ano ngayon yung number sentence, algebraic uh, equation na gagamitin natin para makuha natin ang sagot dito sa problem na ito. Pangapat, solve the number sentence. Okay, so kung na-decide, kung nakita na natin kung ano yung number sentence, isa-solve na natin. Papakita natin yung process, okay, kung paano natin ito isolve. At yung panglima, answer the questions in the problem. Ito yung karaniwang uh, uh, nakakaligtaan ng mga nagsosolve ng problem, hindi nila sinasagot yung talagang uh, question dun sa problem pagka nakakuha na sila ng uh, uh, numbers uh, inilagay na nila binax na nila yung number na yon yun na yung sagot pero actually to uh, present your answer nicely you should answer the questions in the problem so before that you should know the 
uh, questions that you're going to answer. Okay? So, ito, mayroon tayong tinatawag na acronym sa pag-solve uh, ng problem. Ang ginagamit ko is yung G-A-N-S-A or GANSA. Alright? So, yung G is given facts. Yung A is ask. What is ask in the problem? N is your number sentence. S is your solution and then A is your answer to the problem. Madaling maintindihan kapag ka nagsusolve ng problem kahit hindi mo nire-review yung mga questions, alam mo na kung ano yung mga process na gagawin mo by just learning the acronym GANSA. Okay? So let's proceed. Ano ngayon yung mga given facts? Yung unang question kanina, what are the given facts in the problem? Right. So dito nakita natin na ang isang given is 350 pesos. Ano tong 350 pesos? Ito yung price of regular pizza. Yung isang box which is regular pizza, ito yung kanyang presyo, 350 pesos. Samantalang yung 675 pesos naman is the price of large pizza. Ito naman yung kanyang uh, presyo. Ngayon, Meron siyang given na 37. What is this 37? Ito yung total pizzas sold. Binigay na niya kung ilang piraso ang nabintang pizza. Okay? At ibinigay na rin niya yung 17,500 pesos which is the total sales. Ayan. Yan yung mga given information sa problem na nakita natin kanina. Okay. So, susunod, titingnan natin what is asked. In the problem, ano ba yung tinatanong? Alam na natin kung ano yung mga given information, ano ba yung tinatanong? Sabi dito doon, how much is the total sales for each type of pizza? Magkano yung napagbentahan ng una, regular, pangalawa, yung large pizza. Okay? Uh, yan yung, yung tinatanong natin uh, para masagot yung total sales of each type titingnan natin yung regular pizza tapos yung large pizzas na kung magkano ang napagpintahan okay susunod titingnan na natin kung anong number sentence na pwedeng gamitin dun sa problem na yon ayun dahil gumagamit tayo ng algebra we are representing unknown numbers with uh, variables kaya dito sasabihin natin let x. I-define natin kung ano yung x na yon. x is equal to the number of sold regular pizzas. Kasi ito yung tinatanong. Hindi natin alam. Kaya i-represent natin ito ng x. Okay? Ngayon, uh, i-represent din natin yung large pizza ng y. Okay? Dahil hindi sila magkaparehas, dapat uh, ibang variable naman na ang gamitin natin. y is equal to the number of sold large pizza. So, Kapag ka na-solve na natin ito, uh, malalaman na natin kung uh, magkano uh, yung pinagbentahan ng bawat uh, uh, type of or kind of pizza. Okay? So, uh, alam natin na yung Y is uh, uh, large pizza, pero papaano natin malalaman iyon kung ang nalaman lang natin is yung X? Okay? Kasi kailangan nating malaman ang isa dito sa dalawang ito is either x or y ang una nating malaman para sa ganun ay uh, makuha natin yung bilang din ng uh, isang uh, type okay kung nakuha natin ang x pwede na nating malaman ang y kung nakuha natin muna ang y pwede na nating malaman ang x okay so ang y ngayon ang irerepresent natin in terms of x okay we represent y in terms of x ano ibig sabihin noon yung value ng y para makuha natin yon yung total na nabentang boxes isusubtract natin kung makukuha na natin yung x which is 37 minus x makukuha na natin yung y or the number of sold large pizzas okay maliwanag so ang number sentence natin 350x plus 675y is equal to 17,500 pesos ano tong mga numbers na ito, yung 350 yun yung uh, presyo ng isang regular pizza at uh, yung 675, ito naman yung presyo ng large pizza at ang total na napagbentahan is 17,500 
500 pesos. Okay. Pero, hindi natin masosolve ito pagka dalawa ang given variable. Okay? X and Y. Kailangan malaman muna natin yung X para sa ganon masolve din natin yung Y. So, anong gagawin natin? Using yung representation natin ng Y, okay, which is 37 minus X, isa substitute natin ngayon yung value ng Y dito sa bandang X. So, ang gagawin natin, okay, ang gagawin natin is using Y equals 37 minus X. Ito na ngayon. Solve for the number of regular pizza sold. So, solve na natin. Which is 350X plus yung value ng Y. Alam natin na 37 minus X. So, isusubstitute natin dito sa Y kanina. Dito. Banda rito. Substitute natin dito yung 37 minus X. So, that's 675 times 37 minus x is equal to 17,500. Okay. So, paano natin ito isosolve? Dahil ito ay algebra, kailangan natin we put together, pagdagdagin natin yung mga uh, same variables. Okay? Pero bago nyan, kailangan natin isolve muna ito. Okay? I-multiply muna natin yung number na to, uh, distributing it to this uh, term dito sa uh, value ng y. So, ang gagawin natin, 350 times x plus, pag minultiply natin ang 675 times 37, magiging 24,975. Minus, multiply ulit natin yung 675 minus y. Okay? So, magiging sagot, 675 x. Alright. Kukopyahin natin yung equal sign at saka yung answer. Okay, so alam na natin na change na natin yung value ng y in terms of x. So that's 350x plus 24,975 minus 675x is equal to 17,500. Okay, mayroon tayong three terms dito. These are like terms. Pwede na natin ipag-combine ito. Okay, we can combine now 350x and 675x. But this one is negative. That one is positive. So, ano mangyayari? Isusubtract natin yan. Equals, itatranspose natin yung 24,975 on the other side of the equation. Kasi, uh, whole number ito, whole number ito, uh, ito naman, is uh, variables. Kaya, pagdugtungin natin, paghiwalayin uh, natin. Okay? So, 350x minus 675x is equal to the answer, 17,500 so, subtract natin doon sa kaliwa. Bakit naging subtract? Because it's positive. And in sign numbers, when we transpose a number on the other side of the equation, this becomes the opposite sign. It becomes negative. Okay? So, subukan na natin. Uh, three, uh, minus 325x okay, is equal to minus 7, 7,475. Maging, bakit naging minus 325x? Kasi, pag sinubtract natin yung 675 minus 350, ang sagot is 325. But because this is negative, magiging negative ang sign dito. So, that's minus 325x is equal to okay, subtract natin ito. Mas malaki ito. So, ang sagot ay magiging negative. Okay? 24,975 minus 17,500 ang sagot ay 7,475 bigger number has a negative sign so magiging negative siya okay so ngayon alam na natin yung may, may isa na lang tayong value dito sa other side of the equation may isang value dito sa other side of the equation so paano natin kukunin yung x uh, alisin natin yung uh, numerical uh, value Okay? At ang iteteral lang natin ay yung uh, variable. Okay? Literal uh, uh, coefficient niya. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin, i-divide natin ito by this number kasi uh, a number divided by itself is equal to 1. So, magiging 1x na lang ang dito. Okay? So, i-divide din natin ito kabila ng 325 para uh, equal, equivalent pa rin sila. Okay? So, apply the uh, division. 
325 minus 325, dito naman, minus 325, i-divide din natin. Okay? So, dahil uh, parehas, parehas, cancelin natin, uh, matitira x, dito naman, i-divide natin, which we can get the value x now is equal to 23. Bakit 23 lang? Ito negative, ito negative. The rule in... Uh, Uh, dividing signed numbers, negative divided by negative is equal to positive. So, alam na natin yung value ng x. What is x? x is equal to 23. Ano yung 23 na yan? Ano yung x na yan? Alam natin na ito yung regular uh, pizza. Okay? So, tingnan natin. Yung x, which is 23, yun yung regular pizza sold. Ngayon, kung ang x ay 23, titignan na natin yung uh, value of y, which is uh, 37 minus the value of x, which is 37 minus 23. So, alam na natin na yung y, which is the large pizza, is 14 boxes ang nabenta. Okay? So, ang total sales ngayon, regular pizza, 350 times yung nabentang boxes, 23 is equal to 8,000. 50, tapos yung large pizza naman is 675 times yung nabentang boxes 14 is 9,450 for uh, uh, total, kung inad natin yun, adding the sales of 8,050 for regular, 9,450 for large, nakukuha natin yung 17,500 pesos. Okay? So, alam natin na yung ating sagot ay tama kasi yung 17,500 was already given in the problem. So, ang sagot natin, sasagutin na natin yung uh, problem. How much is the total sales for each type of pizza? Para masagot natin ito, aalamin natin kung ilang regular pizza ang nabenta. So, how many regular pizzas were sold? Alam natin na ang total... Ang total sales is 8,050. Tapos, how many large pizzas were sold? Alam natin, ang nabenta ay uh, 14. So, ang napagbenta, 9,450. Ang total sales natin is 17,500 pesos. Okay, solve the problem and comment your answer below. Okay, meron tayong problem dito. Ben is a meat vendor. He sells a kilo of pork for 450 pesos, while a kilo of chicken for 180 pesos. On Sunday, he sold 43 kilos of meat for a total of sales of 12,600 pesos. How many kilos did he sell for each kind of meat? Okay, so dalawang... Uh, klase ng karne ang kanyang binibenta yung uh, pork at saka chicken okay, binigay dito yung napagbentahan binigay dito yung uh, total kilos, pero hindi natin alam kung uh, ilang kilo ang nabinta niyang pork at ilang kilo rin ang nabinta ng uh, chicken, so how many kilos did he sell for each kind of meat yan yung ating Uh, problem solving so go ahead uh, analyze uh, follow along with uh, the given example and then you solve your answer uh, after that comment down below your answer okay so that's it for today thank you very much for watching if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and click that subscribe button to be notified whenever we have a new upload ito po si Ed para sa Alts Reviewer Philippines